Now listen folks, I know that you're used to seeing Xbox content from me, and there will hopefully be plenty of that coming up, you know, this summer after the Xbox showcase, um, and hopefully, you know, after that, Xbox news really starts to open up. But for now, we're talking a little bit about PlayStation because, quite honestly, I do love PlayStation, and we've got new info that suggests some really good news for Team Blue, so let's talk about it. Game preservation is something that is incredibly important to me. Now, let me just say that I'm not one of those insane people rambling on the internet, talking down to people buying digital games or using Game Pass, because I really don't care about that. In fact, Game Pass is where I play a great deal of my games and I think it's amazing. And pretty much everything I buy is digital nowadays anyway. But when I say I care about game preservation, I mean I want my game purchases to matter. Whether they're digital or not, I just want them to mean something. And with rumors swirling about what PlayStation's new tiers of PS Plus would eventually end up being, I got excited and I got hopeful that maybe there was some hope that they could find a way to finally emulate the PS3 and PS2 onto the PS5. Of course, that's not exactly how things ended up, we all know that, but what we ended up with was essentially PS Now crammed into PS Plus, which honestly, I'm not too upset about outside of the pricing. Obviously at $18 a month, which I think is kind of a ripoff, but I do like the look of that second tier, and I certainly appreciate that they didn't change anything for the first tier. But of course, this leaves us in the same predicament that we've always been in since the PS4, and that's the fact that we still can't play PS3 games on our new PlayStation consoles without streaming, and this is something that I really don't like. I mean, for as much love as the Xbox 360 gets during that 7th generation, the PS3 was still an absolutely amazing console with some absolutely amazing games. And there's games I want to play that I missed out on, and I'm truthfully right on the verge of grabbing myself my own PS3 off of eBay, or maybe a local game shop, because I want to play a lot of these games. I missed out on games like Infamous 1 and 2, I missed out on the Metal Gear series of games, I missed out on the Little Big Planets, I missed out on the OG God of War games. I mean, in fact, I started a playthrough on PS Now of the OG God of War series, and I actually beat the first one and loved it, but I'm in the middle of the second one just playing it and thinking, man, I really wish I could just download this on my PS5 and play it right here as opposed to having to stream it. And so I just kinda stopped playing it. It's not because it's bad, it's just because I don't want to stream it. It doesn't feel great. Because as much as I enjoyed playing God of War 1 on PS Now, I feel like I would have enjoyed it way more if I could have experienced it without the input lag that comes along with streaming. And then there's games I would love to go back and play, like Killzone 1, 2, and 3, but I absolutely cannot play those via streaming because it just feels terrible. I mean, it's really laggy and it doesn't look great either. But good news, the solution to my problems could very well be in the works over at Sony as it was confirmed over on Twitter that PlayStation has a brand new team dedicated entirely to game preservation. And that's something that makes me so damn happy. And this news actually comes from one of the team's newest members, Garrett Fredley. Now, does this mean we're suddenly going to be playing PS3 games natively on our PS5s? Of course not. These things will take time, and it could be a while before we really start to see the fruits of this team's labor really start to show. But what's important is that Sony recognizes that this has been a weakness for them, and they're actively working to correct it by creating this team. And that's some incredibly positive news that I know just for me personally, I needed to hear, because I was starting to lose hope that Sony even cared about this sort of thing. But I want to get your folks' thoughts on this. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about maybe seeing some old PlayStation classics running on your new PS5. Because I know nowadays the focus seems to be on creating new experiences, and while I think that is always incredibly important, I think it's even more important to make sure that the old experiences don't disappear. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. Be sure to leave a like if you liked the video, and please remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell if you're enjoying the content and want to stay up to date on all my latest videos. And actually, before I sign out for this video, I wanted to take a moment to plug a new channel ran by me and three other awesome dudes. It's called The Game Drain, and we'll be having plenty of content from here on out over on that channel. It's mostly live streams and our weekly podcast. 
And also don't worry, I'll still be doing my normal videos right here on the channel whenever gaming news permits new videos. But definitely check out the Game Drain. We'll be going live to play some games Monday and Wednesday nights. And we've got our weekly podcast every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. But until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.